Hi, my name's John. And obviously, I'm Deb. Welcome to tonight's Sunday Night Nightcap. I've got a parcel here that's come all the way from Denmark. It's addressed to me, but I know it is for Deb, your wife. Who's it from, Debs? It's from somebody called Henning. Henning. And I'll not try to pronounce your last name. Do you want to open it? Yeah, because I've got the name. Do you want to open it? <laughs> open the bottom. Open the bottom. I'm trying to help you. What give you the knife? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Break down your two. Right. Okay. Oh. Here's a letter. See, it says say to Deborah and John. It's certainly well packaged on. Oh. So he loves your videos. He's learned a lot. He, he has a good laugh. And uh, he thought he would like to make something for you, but couldn't find out what it should be. Then suddenly it struck him that he wanted to make a Taurus. It's a very British, and you have seen Doctor Who things in your shops, and also like Doctor Who in Best Wishes. Sorry, so it's a Taurus. It's a Taurus. Which Henning's made from the other side of the North Sea. Here we go. How's that? Isn't that lovely? Thank you very, very much. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Where are you going to put it? I think I'll put it by the side of the bed. Okay. Wow. Thanks very much. That really is much appreciated. Thank you. I've always liked second hand tools and handmade items. Thanks very much, Deb, for. Not only opening tonight's nightcap, but also opening this splendid present from Henning all the way from Denmark. I'll get some close-up shots of that later on and put them in towards the end of the nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've been away all weekend at a steam rally at Corbridge. The weather's been poor. Um, I've had two or three good soakings. But seeing that, the steam rally did go on and there was quite a bit of activity. I've got a lot of film from there, which I'll probably put in either next week's nightcap or possibly a little video through the week. One thing I did do was the, the, the nameplate I made for the traction engine. Um, I gave that to the guy whose traction engine it's going to go on to. In actual fact, I put it on for him and he's absolutely over the moon with it. Delighted with it, in fact. Um, it's made all the... To see his face when I give him it, it, was, it made all the work worthwhile having it, uh, all the trials and troubles getting it cast because it didn't, it didn't want to play. But in the end, we did get it, and now it's on the engine. I think you'll agree, it looks really splendid.
It's just a scotch brake brush, that's all I'm using. A scotch brake wheel. One or two little imperfections and blow holes in the casting. Uh, I'm going to do another one, but I really want to get this one done for the weekend. Uh, it's a the local traction engine rally, and I want to give it to the guy who's engine it's off. Then just to paint this and then polish it again and the letters will come up really nice and bright against the black background it's actually coming up quite nice Not bad for the panic that pisses about, I suppose. One little bad bit on that corner, but can't be helped. It looks messy but once the letters are polished again and the black paint's polished off it will it will stand out and look really good. This is a good quality coach enamel. I'll probably take a couple of quotes.
And if I rub a little bit off, you'll see what's going to stand out. It's certainly starting to look the part now. I think the next one I'll do, instead of grinding the letter shiny, I'll put cast extra lugs on and I'll just paint it black and then simply fly cut them so it gives a much sharper edge just to see what that one looks like. I think this looks good. It's having the effect of it looks like it's like rounded off like it's worn, like it's a really old sign because it is good onto a obviously a really old engine. And once the paint's fully hardened, you'll be able to spend a bit more time polishing it. But it's certainly starting to, to look the shape. I'm certainly, certainly starting to look the part. And I'm quite pleased with it as well. So the next time I video this, hopefully it's going to be fastened onto the, the Fowler traction engine. Colour of this is it'll darken down once it gets a little bit of age out, a little bit of patina, and it'll go with the, the same colour as these brass screws are very similar. Thank you, John. Can I open it up? I open it up. Keep the rag, man. Don't keep the rag on. <laughs> Curved it, like warning to be polished. Uh -huh. Very. I could machine a dead flat, but I can look better like that. Spot on, John. And I've got another one for you. I just didn't talk as well as I thought. Spot on. Think of that. Good, it? It, it, it's two and doing a bit now, and it gets a bit edgy with the brass, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very pleased. A bit more work with the fail. Keeps you warm. Nice. Dear me.